that the American public is leading the charge. They are the ones who are rejecting these candidates and these political parties, saying that the two candidates we have now are the most untrustworthy, the most disliked, and who are the pundits to tell them, to tell the American people who are being thrown under the bus, be good little boys and girls. Just support these candidates of the political establishment to do more of their damage. Remember, you do not defeat neo-fascism through neoliberalism. Neoliberalism will create more neo-fascism. We have the potential not to split the vote, but to flip the vote, because there are 42 million young people who have no way forward, who are trapped in predatory student loan debt, about which Democrats have had nothing to offer any more than Republicans. By simply getting the word out that they can come out, that is a plurality of the vote. They can come out and actually win this election, and not only win it to cancel student debt, like we did for the friggin' bankers, the, the crooks on Wall Street, we can cancel that debt, make higher education free, uh, end police violence. These are all eminently solvable problems. The Democrats, even when they had two Democratic uh, houses of Congress, what did they do? They bailed out Wall Street, you know, they, they, uh, they en enacted all of the above, which has been basically drill, baby drill on steroids. Uh, Hillary Clinton's finger on the button is as dangerous as, uh, certainly as dangerous as, as uh, Donald Trump, and it's, it's Barack Obama himself who initiated the new nuclear arms race, spending a trillion dollars. We should not rest easy with either candidate. This is a time for us to stand up. In the words of Alice Walker, biggest way people give up power is by not knowing we have it to start with. My campaign has been supported, actively supported, by many of the leaders in the African-American community, uh, like Mark Lamont Hill and like Cornell West, who say that their community cannot afford to sit back uh, and let themselves be thrown under the bus. We must establish our own power. If you have to lose an election in order to establish your power, you have to do that. But simply by allowing Hillary Clinton and the Democrats to pretend to be saving us uh, is absolutely the wrong thing to do.